Rules of netiquette Online security, safety, and ethics Internet threats Protecting reputations online — copyright — contextualized online search and research skills Objectives At the end of this lesson, the students should be able to 1. Consider one's and other's safety when sharing information using the Internet 2. Consider one's and other's reputation when using the Internet 3. Determine and avoid the dangers of the Internet 4. Be responsible in the use of social networking sites, and 5. Browse the Internet efficiently and properly through proper referencing. Before we start, let us have a game first. In every group, choose your leader who is in charge to write your answers on the board. Let's start. Guess the word from the given letters. The answer is Websites Guess the word from the given letters The answer is, network. Guess the word from the given letters. The answer is, computer. What is netiquette? Netiquette is a combination of the word network and etiquette, it is defined as a set of rules for acceptable online behavior or the code of good behavior on the Internet. The Internet truly, is a powerful tool. It can be used to promote your business, gain new friends, and stay in touch with the old ones. It is also a source of entertainment. But like most things in this world, there is always, another side of the coin. The Internet is one of the most dangerous places, especially if you do not know what you are doing. How safe are you? Most people would dispute that there is no such thing as private over the internet and they may be right. There are hackers who can find a back door even if your profile is already set to private. You have no control of whoever is looking at your friend's screen whenever they open your profile or chat with you. You have no control over people getting access to your friend's account and seeing your private stuff. How often do you log onto the internet? Daily? Several times a day? Do you give out your personal information? Most of us use the Internet every day. Sometimes, we do not pay attention on how much information we share online. Let us try to find out, how safe are you? Below is a questionnaire about how much information you have shared so far. Put check under shared or not shared. There are risks in sharing your first and last name. Chances are, hacker already knows plenty of stuff about you. You will be vulnerable to being searched using your search engines, which include image search. Matching a name with a face can lead to several cyber crimes like identity theft. Sharing your address, your current school, contact number and birthday makes you vulnerable to identity theft. Most people who steal identities study their subject. 
They can use this for verification purposes. The Internet is a public place and it is up to you to protect yourself. Here are some tips to help you stay safe when using the Internet. 1. Be mindful of what you share online, and what site you share it to. Divulging too many personal details online, can make you an easy target for hackers. Protect your identity by keeping your private life private, and minimizing the information you share online. 2. Do not just accept terms and conditions, read it. It is important to remember, that accepting terms and conditions, constitutes a legally binding contract, so, it is in your interest to make sure that you have read them before accepting. 3. Check out the privacy policy of the website. A privacy policy, is a document, that details what personal information is collected from the users, how you use it, and how you keep it private. Know the security features, of the social networking site, you use. Like in Facebook. Use security features like login alerts and approvals, and review and update your security settings at any time. Do not share your password with anyone. Passwords are a major defense against hackers, and developing good password practices will help keep your sensitive personal information and identity more secure. 6. Avoid logging into public networks or Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi hotspots in coffee shops, libraries, airports, hotels, universities, and other public places are convenient, but often they're not secure. If you connect to a Wi-Fi network, and send information through websites or mobile apps, it might be accessed by someone else. To protect your information when using wireless hotspots, send information only to sites, that are fully encrypted, and avoid using mobile apps, that require personal or financial information. Do not talk to strangers whether online or face-to-face. -face. Be wary of strangers, the internet makes it easy for people to misrepresent their identities and motives. Consider limiting the people who are allowed to contact you on these sites. If you interact with people you do not know, be cautious about the amount of information you reveal. Or agreeing to meet them in person. Never post anything about a future vacation. Criminals, monitor social media, to see when you're away from home, so that, they can burgle your house, or scam you, or your family and friends. Add friends you know in real life. Others are just trying to fish information about you or stalk you for their personal intentions. Avoid visiting untrusted websites. Avoid sites that seem suspicious. Criminals might create fake websites, and pop-ups with enticing messages intended to draw you in, and download malware. Install and update an antivirus software on your computer. It is important to constantly update the antivirus software on a computer, because computers are regularly threatened by new viruses. The antivirus updates contain the latest files needed to combat new viruses and protect your computer. 12. If you have Wi-Fi at home, make it a private network by adding a password. It is vital, that you take proper preventive measures in securing the device, to protect your network. 13. Avoid downloading anything from untrusted website. A top goal of cyber criminals is to trick you into downloading malware. Don't download apps that look suspicious or come from a site you don't trust. 14. Buy the software, do not use pirated ones. Purchasing software that is not original and fully certified will put you in harm. There are grave dangers lurking in the dark behind pirated software. 15. Do not reply or click links from a suspicious emails. Always hover over a link in an email message before you click on it. Do not click unless it is obviously a legitimate link. The Internet is defined as the information superhighway. This means that anyone has access to this highway, can place information, and can grab that information. Any information, even things that you have set privately, can be accessed one way or another. This is why social networking sites like Facebook continue to improve their security features. The threat of cyber crime is very real. While you may not experience the threat now, whatever information we share today could affect our future. Here are some of the threats you should be aware of when using the Internet. 1. Malware. There are different types of malware. Like virus, worm, trojan, spyware and adware. 2. Spam. 3. Phishing. Virus, a malicious program designed to replicate itself and transfer from one computer to another, either through the internet and local networks or data storage like flash drives and CDs. Worm, a malicious program that transfers from one computer to another by any type of means. 
Often, it uses a computer network to spread itself. Trojan, a malicious program that is disguised as useful program, but once downloaded or installed, leaves your PC unprotected and allows hackers to get your information. An example of Trojan malware is rogue security software. It tricks the users into posing that it is a security software. It asks the user to pay to improve his, her security but in reality, they are not protected at all. Spyware, a program that runs in the background without you knowing it thus called a spy. It has the ability to monitor what you are currently doing and typing through the keylogging. Keyloggers, is an example of a spyware, it used to record keystroke done by the users, to steal password or any other sensitive information. Adware, its goal is to acquire sensitive personal information like passwords and credit card details. Spam, it is an unwanted email mostly from bots or advertisers. It can be used to send malware. Third is phishing. Its goal is to acquire sensitive personal information. A more complicated way of phishing is called farming. It exploits the DNS system of the computer. To be able to address internet and computer threats, is to install antivirus, including regularly updating your computer system. The internet is a public place and it is up to you to protect yourself. Always think before you click. Before you post something on the web, ask these questions to yourself. Would you want your parents or grandparents to see it? Would you want your future boss to see it? Once you post something on the web, you have no control of who sees your posts. 2. Your friends depend on you to protect their reputation online. Talk to your friends about this serious responsibility. 3. Set your post to private. In this way, search engines will not be able to scan that post. 4. Avoid using names. Names are easy for search engines to scan. 5. If you feel that a post can affect you or others' reputation, ask the one who posted it to pull it down or report it as inappropriate.